What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Power Five here on Wager Talk TV. It is Monday, July 31st, the final day of the month. I am Brian Power, of course, and every day I bring you the five things you need to know from where the market's moving, who to sell high on, who to buy low on, our stat of the day, and at the end, we give out a free pick, our power play of the day. But before we get to the Power Five, a reminder, please. Go ahead and smash that like button. Give this show a thumbs up. Let's get interactive. Comment away. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you like the power play of the day. If you hate the power play of the day, let me know what your favorite play of the day is. Again, we want to be interactive. Share those favorite bets uh, in the comments section. Of course, make sure you're subscribed to the Wager Talk YouTube channel as well, uh, where we have a ton of great sports betting content each and every day. Okay, let's get right into how the market is moving. Critical NL East battle to start the week between the Phillies and Marlins. Initially, we saw a line move towards Miami, and it looked like after opening as underdogs, Miami would be favored. There has been some buyback since on the Phillies. Perhaps the initial line move towards Miami had something to do with betters uh, just being sick of the ineptitude they saw from the Phillies on Sunday. Multiple errors, base running snafus cost them in a 6-4 loss to the Pirates. Uh, also, Marlins starter Edward Cabrera is undefeated at home this year, 5-0 with a 2.61 ERA. Note, however, Philly starter Taiwan Walker, uh, they're 15-6 and six with him on the mound this year. Maybe that's why uh, we've seen after the initial move towards Miami, a little bit uh, of money head back towards the Phillies' direction. So uh, just something to take note there. That is a big series in the NL East. Now, can you believe betters are thinking under in Coors Field on Monday? Series opener between the Padres and Rockies. We have seen the total dip from an opening number of 12 to 11.5. Now, the Padres have gone under in five straight games, but all five of those games were at home where they allowed just 3.4 runs per game. That is the fewest number of runs per game allowed by any home team in Major League Baseball. And speaking of runs allowed at home, uh, on Friday and Saturday, other side of the ledger, the Rockies allowed 19 combined runs those two days to an A's team that came in averaging just 3.2 runs per game. Looking at the two starters for this game, the Rockies, Austin Gomber has a 7.19 ERA at Coors this season, while the Padres, Seth Lugo, he's allowed... Uh, quite a few homers his last three starts, five to be exact. I am a little perplexed uh, by this total dropping. Now, I know the Rockies traded away some bats. Perhaps that's the reason we've seen this total dip. Uh, I'm going to have a little bit more on this game, though, in our stat of the day section. Now, let's move to sell high. And you've got a chance to do just that Monday with the Baltimore Orioles, who are flying high uh, after their big Sunday night win over the Yankees. The O's are in first place in the AL East, but odds makers don't like their chances tonight as they are underdogs at Toronto. Now, not only is this a chance to fade a team on the road coming off the Sunday night game, which historically has been a profitable situation to fade, but you're getting Chris Bassett at home for Toronto. Bassett has been outstanding north of the border in 2023. We're talking about a 2.24 ERA and a .87 whip in 10 starts. The Jays, 7-3 in those 10 home starts. By low, we always look for a, a, a juicy underdog. And how about the LA Angels? This team could not hit to save their lives with runners in scoring position over the weekend in Toronto. One for 28. Uh, and that one hit uh, provided the game-winning run Sunday against the aforementioned Blue Jays. Uh, and here the Angels are going to face Charlie Morton, who not only has his highest walk rate in the season since 2016, but his lowest strikeout rate in the season since 2015. To me, Angels... Huge underdogs in Atlanta. That's not a surprise given where the Braves are at, at in the uh, overall pecking order in Major League Baseball. But Angels plus one and a half uh, could be worth a shot, similar to last week when I said Reds plus one and a half were a shot uh, against the Dodgers. They won that game outright, of course. Okay, stat of the day. I said I would come back to that Padres-Rockies game, and here we are. The Padres come into the series on a three-game win streak. They just swept Texas. At home, they were big favorites in every game, too. That caught some people by surprise, I'm sure. But here is why that three-game win streak for San Diego is significant, guys. This season, the Padres, and here's our stat of the day, are 0-7, went off three consecutive victories. They were favored in all but one of those seven losses. They are, of course, favored today. There has not been a single time all year where San Diego has won four in a row 
we shall see if they can break that uh, tonight in Coors Field. Uh, before we get to today's power play of the day, I do want to remind everyone about a brand new special offer we have going on at Wager Talk. As you know, I recently celebrated my one-year anniversary of coming aboard here. It's been a great first year from last year's playoffs through the All-Star break. I ranked number one in MLB, most profitable handicapper there. College football last season, number one with plays rated 4% or higher. I know since the All-Star break, it has been a very, very tough run. But I implore you uh, to keep the faith. Buy low on me, and we're going to get this thing turned around here uh, on the final day of July, heading into August. Uh, for my, You can get all of my plays for one year, okay, using the code POWER1000 for 50% off. That is POWER1000 is the code. Take 50% off the price of a one-year all-access pass. That's just $2.73 per day. You get every winner I release for the next 365 days. Head on over to wt.buzz backslash bp to take advantage. Now, of course, it's also $9 Monday at Wager Talk. We have to remember that. All packages available for just $9, not just myself. Every single handicapper on the site. Be sure to take advantage. Every Monday, we have that at Wager Talk, $9 Monday. All right, power play of the day for July 31st. Let's lay the half a run in the first five with Milwaukee, who send Corbin Burns to the hill in the nation's capital, face the lowly Nationals. Burns has made five consecutive quality starts where he's given up a total of just six runs and 11 hits. Total. Six runs and 11 hits in 33 innings pitched. He's going to be opposed by Jake Irvin, who's allowed at least one home run in six straight starts, including three in his last one. With Burns on the mound, all signs here point to the Brew Crew getting back on track after being swept down in Atlanta over the weekend. A complete mismatch in starting pitching towards the road team. I believe Milwaukee will be leading after five frames in this one. Again, power play of the day, Milwaukee first five. You do have to lay a little juice. It's minus 140, but I think it's worth the investment. That is it for the power five for Monday, July 31st. Now let's all go and cash some tickets.